Hello and welcome to MPK Technology Live once again and today we have Gareth from Eco Thrive, Foxy from Team Hydro. Excellent. So we're talking about a new product today and it's Eco Thrive Charge. So elaborate a little bit more on this product. Okay, Charge is a very unique product and product I'm really proud to bring to market under the Eco Thrive brand. And it's based on insect frass, which is uh, basically insect poo. Mm -hmm. And what sort of insects are these? It comes from beetles. Beetles. Okay. It's actually beetle larva which produce most of the insect poo. Um, mm. And it's very good for indoor and outdoor gardening. And what are these beetles eating, Gareth? The beetles are only ever eating wheat bran and carrot. And these are organic carrots too. So it's not just your your stock fodder this is you know good quality human grade organic carrots well looked after beetles no value carrots for our beetles no so this product charge we have here friendly bacteria for the, for the plants yeah basically charge works in three ways there's uh, nutrients in there there's beneficial bacteria and there's a biostimulant yeah okay why so, do we need an insect poo it is an absolutely fantastic organic amendment for boosting soil or cocoa. It's one of a kind. You won't find anything else like it on the market. There's nothing else like it in Europe, to be, to be fair. Good stuff. Okay. So, I've just come into my local MPK store and um, I buy a tub of this charge. What am I gonna do with it? Charge is a soil conditioner, essentially. But it's not just suitable for soil. You can use it in cocoa too. It's a powder product. Uh, and what you do is you mix it through your growing media. Right. It's dry, it's granular, it's a little bit like sand, so it mixes through your media really well. Okay. Okay. After mixing, you treat it like you would normally. So if you're used to using cocoa in your A and B nutrients, you still apply the nutrients as you would normally. If you're used to using soil and just using water for a bit after, again, you just do the same as you normally would. Okay, so let's simplify it once more. This is what I like to do for my customers. Um, I've just come into my shop, I've bought, I've got four bags of cocoa, uh, 50 litres in each and I'm going to use all of that cocoa how much of this 5 litre tub of charge am I going to use and am I going to use it at the beginning when the plants are small or indeed right at the beginning right so okay. I, I leave the store yep. let's build the picture here I leave my store I get, I go home and I'm going to pot up my tomato plants yeah I've got small babies now what do I do what do I actually have to do ok the application rate is yep. 2% so that means you mix one litre of charge into 50 litres of growing media. Okay, so one big, one of those bags of cocoa that we have in the store. Exactly. One litre of charge to that. One litre. Okay. It's easy to measure because it's a bit like sand. You just pick it up with your scoop and add it in. Mm -hmm. What benefits are we going to get? The benefits really excel in establishment. You know, the plants get off to a fantastic start. Excellent. And why did you do this? Okay, it works in three ways, essentially. Um, firstly... It's got a good NPK value. Oh, NPK? Yeah. What's we... NPK mean? Well, there's a competition. So all you listeners, if you know what NPK is, um, make sure you can win a five litre tub of charge. Yeah. And you need to, what are we going to do for this one? Just a few uh, likes on the page. Yeah, need to uh, like the page and say, tell us what NPK means and say, NPK, charge me up is what you need to write in the post. Okay, so MPK charged me up and we need the answer. So carry on, sorry. Okay, so yeah, it has a good MPK. It's three, two, three. Okay, so it's nice and even. It's not going to slam your plants with loads of nitrogen mm -hmm. and cause soft, you know, disease-prone growth. Yeah. It's not going to swing your, you know, your mix in favour of potassium. Yeah. And cause maybe the onset of flowering when you don't want it. Yeah. It's a nice, even MPK. So that's one thing that it does. Go. Oh. Okay, so number two, it's chock-a-block full of beneficial bacteria. Okay, it's a bacterial product, had it tested at a lab and local university, and they plate counted at 450 million colony forming units for every gram of charge. Okay? That's a lot of colonies. Yeah, so for a natural product, it's through the roof. Chock-a-block. Chock-a-block. We like that word, chock-a-block. So, and these are all good bacteria. Good bacteria, all gram positive. Which so means it's a bit like that, them beneficial. little drinks you see in the fridge, them little tiny things, what, them actamels, the friendly bacteria yeah. for your body. Friendly bacteria. This is friendly bacteria for your plant. Exactly. So what it will do, it help um, improve mineralisation, which is the conversion of organic matter into nutrients for the plant. Right, so okay. It will aid in the decomposition process. So if you're an organic grower, um, 
definitely want these sorts of microbes. So, for instance, you know, allotment growers. Indeed, yeah. And what's this fox? He's just pointing at. Hold on, let me get my glasses on one second. Oh, we've got this lovely soil association approved sticker. What? Tell me a bit Indeed. more about this. That's something I'm really proud of about the product. It's 100% organic. Right. And. I was audited by the Soil Association and they've given me full approval. Oh, big round of applause for that. So, very good. We like that. Approved by the Soil Association. Yep. And I, I assume um, that these guys don't pussyfoot around. Yes, I will use that word. If, if it wasn't organic, they wouldn't give you this sticker, would they? Exactly. Exactly. So, great stuff. So, for all you allotment customers down there, you know, I've seen an article, funny enough, um, from... Was he? You showed me, didn't you, Foxy? Yeah, at the Harrogate Flower Show. Yeah. Explain a bit more, because you know how I love me fruits and vegetables and prize-winning stuff. And Okay, well, the product um, has been used by some exhibition vegetable growers. And these growers, basically, they spend their life um, growing the v fruits and veggies that they love. I have actually um, got a couple of these customers as well. Yeah, they're so enthralled with one particular veg that they take it to shows and exhibit them. Okay, either for their size yeah. or for how perfect they are. Yeah. Okay, and I've got a few people um, in the exhibition vegetable world that um, are using Charge and have used it for the past 12 months. Yeah. And they've gone from getting you know good results on the show bench to achieving excellent results. Prize winners. Yeah. At Harrogate, there was um, six prizes awarded yeah. for people growing with Charge. Do you know any of the positions? Did anybody receive a first place position? Indeed, yeah. They did? Yeah. In yeah. what what area? Come on, elaborate. So we had um, quality onions. Oh my god! Yeah, five onions. Yeah, um, I think it was a three pound class. Have we got any images on our media of any of this stuff? Yeah, we, we did. Yeah, we've actually got a press release. Where is this? Where can the customers view this and listen? Come on, let's hear the websites and pages. Yeah, you can see it on on Facebook, um, and you can see it on the Eco Thrive website. So, do you want to tell us the Eco Thrive? Sure, EcoThrive.co.uk. And the Facebook that's linked to these images are yeah again Eco Thrive Organics yep search Eco Thrive Organics on Facebook and we're also on Twitter what's our Twitter Eco Thrive UK on Twitter at Eco Thrive UK yeah so good stuff um, so you've got some prize winning vegetables at the moment yeah one thing I was really proud of is um, someone called Barbara Cook okay. okay she went from having some very poor results over the last three years yeah um, to actually getting right back on the show bench for heavyweight onions yeah. and that's a very contested area I presume these are all outdoor grown uh, these are actually in polytunnels or greenhouses yeah yeah okay okay and um, she went from not being able to put anything on the show bench to getting a third place at Harrogate not bad well yeah. done round of applause yeah. she deserves it and she grew a near 14 pound onion oh absolute monster it was a beast yeah that onion you wouldn't need to buy a, a packet of onions you just buy one onion and dissect it for months nah, on end these are like bigger than your head yeah. in size well I've actually got a prize winning pumpkin grower who comes to the store he hasn't been for a while because um, he was on the he was on the hunt for some really unique bacteria so when I see him next I'm going to show him charge yeah do it um, so yeah so the bacteria in there I mentioned that they're very good for um, organic situations but also in in a more cocoa same which is kind of that cross between hydroponics and, yeah. and soil they also play a real key role in improving root growth establishing healthy conditions in the soil and improving nutrient uptake how long does this pro so we we've went on we've mixed our one litre tub of charge that we paid 5 99 for at MPK technology um, we've mixed it into our 50 litres of cocoa yep. we've put it in its pots off it go. How long is that going to last? Is it going to be in there for only a week? Four or? to six weeks. Four to six weeks. So it's yeah. going to it's going to cover the complete grow period. Indeed. What a lot of people do, and what I'd recommend, is to use it throughout your vegetative period. Yeah. Okay. And at the beginning of flowering cycle, if you have a three four week flowering cycle, is to follow up with a top dressing. Okay. And that will continue to add. You know. So when we say a top dress, we don't mean just the top half of a woman's dress, and we put it over our plants. We're going to get a little scoop a scooper or a spoon or something well it comes every tub comes with a scoop oh really every tub comes with a 60 mil measurement well i never knew that all included in a price oh well. well there you go see it's where you need it first so we're then going to use this scooper and how much are we going to top dress this with 20 to 40 mil yeah for each 10 litre pot okay. okay that if you've got scales and you want to do a bit more accurately then between 0 0.75 and 1.5 grams I'm back. Oh, here's Stephen just come into the room. 
Um, as you know, Stephen, we've been talking um, about the charge. Yeah. Um, well, I'm interested. I hear you say, well, I never knew that, and that doesn't get said very often. So, what didn't you know? The the plastic uh, scooper that was in the tub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there That's, you go. I never knew that. There you go. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, free plastic scooper in, inside the tub. Nice. Uh, we've just done a competition then as well. Happy days. Um, whoever knows what MPK means. And what have you got to say? I've got to say, MPK, charge me up. Very good. It's good to have you back, Foxy. Oh, thanks. It's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? It has, it has. It's always nice to have you Got back. you uh, kicked off to a few... Po- Did we do four podcasts that Sunday? We Seems ages four ago now. podcasts on the first Sunday. You might recognise them because they're a bit tinny as we were getting to know the editing software and all and getting used to the microphone. But yeah. I think you think we might have improved since then. Yeah. Radio MPK is going from strength to strength. Yeah, yeah. people up and down the country are talking about it. Yeah. Well, one thing, the, you seem to have a lot of um, interest at the show because, once again, views, we were at the... London XL Arena uh, on the, the weekend gone. Yeah, Grow Expo 2014 just recently moved from uh, Manchester to London for its uh, anniversary, well, fifth fifth year anniversary this year. What did you think of the show? Yeah, I thought it was a really good show. I've seen you look quite pretty busy. Yeah, the stand was, was really stacked out. Lots yeah. of interest in charge. People yeah. wanted to pick up the sample bags. Yeah. yeah. Has that interest come about since you've only just gone on one first, second and third prize in the big massive vegetable contest? <laughs> that's definitely been a catalyst, that's for sure. Yeah. And we, talk about that. Well, so basically, let me put this in a simple form for you guys. This product that I have in my hands right now, it's a very cheap product, yeah. However, it's a very unique product. There's not another product like this on the market, is there? No. There's imitations of something similar but is not doesn't quite cut it as this and definitely have you seen this Stephen? So Association approved that's the first thing I know it's just actually in a, in Coventry did we yeah did we cover all the three things there Gareth that we were talking about a minute ago about the no no we need to cover where do we get to two or one or two number so, two what was the third thing yeah so we've spoken about the fact it's got MPK you know it's a decent nutrient level in there yeah lots of beneficial microorganisms three two three yeah but thirdly, there's um, a natural biostimulant in the product. Okay, Being from insects, basically insect poo, or yeah. technical term insect frass, there's a lot of chitin in the product. Now, I remember you speaking about yeah. this. Yeah. So, so chitin is what makes up in- insects' exoskeletons. That's what makes them hard. And it's uh, basically a modified polysaccharide. Now, when chitin is degraded in the soil, it mm-hmm. turns into derivatives, and plants sense that. And they think there's insects around, so it throws up a heightened immune response. It's called the systemic acquired resistance or the hypersensitive response and, and actually picks up growth rate and helps the plant defend itself better against, against disease. Yeah. So the, the easiest way to do, sort of describe that is it sort of kind of puts the plant into alert mode. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I'm covered in insects. Yeah. I need to it start growing. It puts its defence shields up then, yeah. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. What I want to know, I've got the best question ever, mm. is how long does it take to collect all this insect poop? Well, and how big is an in average insect's poop? Well, it's quite small, isn't it, Gareth? Yeah, if you get the if you get a magnifier out, you can see they're tiny, tiny little round balls. You must have millions of soldiers collecting all this insect poop. There, there are millions. <laughs> and these uh, and that's the dedication from um, Charge. They've got millions yeah. of people collecting this insect poop every day. Well, I we, we touched on the uh, soil association. Now, have you spoken much about that yet? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll just. I haven't heard. I'm coming in brand new. But the but what can we say, AC? Uh, yeah. Give us time. <laughs> the soil association approval um, is very, very hard to get, and you've got it. You're rightfully very proud of that badge because they only pick the finest products. So well, without us saying anything, it's soil association approved. That, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, so a bit like the if you if it was a restaurant, it'd be a Michelin starred restaurant. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the that's yeah. the level, isn't it? Yeah. They, they only pick. Finest yeah. stuff to put their badge on. As we do as a, as as a grow store, we only pick the finest products to go in our store. So, now we, the, we might give you a little badge to put on oh. the side saying MPK technology. MPK approved. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> now, one one interesting thing is uh, the carrots that the insects are fed on. That's what they eat. They have a vegan diet, don't they, Gareth? That's right. So the the beetles or the beetle larva, which actually make charge, um, they're only fed on wheat bran and organic carrot. Okay, so that's a very consistent diet, which is all they need for a healthy life cycle. And because they're only fed you know, consistent inputs, their, their outputs, their poo, is always the same. Yeah. So it's a very consistent product, you know, batch to batch, year to year, decade to decade. 
that's important very important some of the best brands of nutrients out there and how become the best because they have that consistency mm. how big's our team of beetles currently uh kind of unmeasurable yeah They're are we in the billions <laughs> yet on the on the squad there, there's a hell of a lot yeah. yeah we've got a big team big team of beetles pooing hard every day for you guys to get the best results you can possibly get mm. let's hope some constipation doesn't strike them La laxatives laxatives oh. yeah we've got laxatives on standby <laughs> They don't need it. No. <laughs> it's Good say, you don't need it. Do <laughs> exactly, organic carrots all the way and a bit of wheat germ. So, yeah, simple inputs, organic inputs, and an organic product as a result. Mm. So, tell us a little bit more about EcoThrive as a company. What's your mission? Hey, what do you, what's, where have you come from? Okay, uh, my mission is to bring you know, organic, sustainable gardening products to market. Products that work and products that um, everyone can believe in. Mm. Okay, I don't want to be rebottling re mineral salts. Yeah. Um, you know. I need my products to be, um, how can we say it? Innovative. Yeah, innovative mm -hmm. and organic and sustainable. Yeah. You sound as if you've got a very um, good knowledge base. What background have you got in? So I've been in and out of hydroponic retail for about 10 years. I worked for Aquaculture for a while, big retailer in Sheffield. They had a strong manufacturing arm and manufactured the Vitalink range of nutrients. Yeah. So I had some key roles in helping develop product through there. I left that company for a little while and went off into the commercial sector worked at a commercial lettuce farm they also did watercress and after that i was technical editor for urban garden magazine ah right okay okay so it's a very popular magazine went on for a number of awesome. interesting yeah. so some greenhouses are very very protective over their stock so they don't want any diseases or any pests to come into their greenhouses and on a trip to canada i went to a commercial cucumber uh, propagator so they grow cucumbers on scale for other cucumber greenhouses to then grow on not a lot of um, commercial growers for tomatoes and cucumbers peppers actually propagate their own mm -hmm. stock and normally buy them in so to get into this place I had to put on a hairnet then a white jacket then we had to walk through these bleach trays to disinfect our shoes step straight out of the bleach trays and put shoe covers on and then there's a little buffer area and then we were allowed into the greenhouse after inspection so you can imagine they're very, very careful yeah. about, about pests and disease yeah. and take the right measures to stop them from coming into their growing area. And it's something I would always recommend to any indoor grower is to be very careful and try and be as clinical as you can to prevent problems. I, I think understand exactly where you're coming from. Thomas makes me do this every day before work. Yeah. We have to go through a big buffering thing. We we could actually enforce this with some of our customers, couldn't we? Definitely. Ask them a quick question. Oh, you know what we could do with some of the in. customers? Just ask them to clean the grow room at least once in their life ever that that would be a start so cleanliness you know all of that mud and soil and spilt water on the floor what is it cleanliness is next to godliness yeah so you know i'm not going to go on it you say i already do it enough when you come in the store but you know what i mean keep the room clean yeah indeed <laughs> at least clean between cycles definitely because some of you are absolutely abysmal and i'm going to tell you straight because you, you, you slip up all the time when you, you ask me certain questions about certain things and you tell me oh I've still got them white lines around my trays yeah, you're supposed to scrub all that off every at the end of every cycle so you know cleanliness is key and as these guys have just said you know so, some of the companies some of the regimes that they go through to protect the, their greenhouses because these are big scale you know if these got a, a swarm of pests in there it would be detrimental yeah financially yeah um, detrimental. severely so you know if you think about that on your own small scale and implement the same things i believe you'll have better results as well also indeed especially if you you also combine that with this really good product that helps stimulate the plant against pests against disease certainly. disease sorry it's going to put pests off that's yeah. for sure healthy yeah. plants that are growing vigorously certainly more resilient and can cope with pest attack better Something else I learned, I was just reading the bottle and I knew from the product when, when uh, Foxy came and us in the first few weeks what it was. But then I was reading the bottle and I, I didn't even know that it actually had the microorganism in it as well. It has actually some beneficial bacteria in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got lots of beneficial bacteria. Mm -hmm. Millions yeah. of it, we just said before. Yeah. Tell Stephen how, my, how much bacteria it's 450 got. 450 million CFU per gram. CFU means colony forming units. That's so impressive. those are bacteria which can breed. And Stephen loves colonies. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are just using uh, the certain products out there where you just have uh, endomycorrhosin and uh, you put putting bacteria in, great job, you're doing a great thing. Why not try the charge where you're going to get the mycorrhosa but the added benefits of the uh, charge as well. So do you have any uh, customers that use Bacuane? 
Yes, we yes. Do. Could you use this with back guano, Gabba? Yeah, very much so. It's a, it's a very good product to use with guano, um, mainly because back guano is very devoid of any life. You know, there's not really any beneficial bacteria or oh. microbes in there, yeah. um, certainly for the European products. And that's because back guano has to be treated before coming into the EU, um, and it's heat treated to, to kill off any... Yeah, so it kills off everything. Yeah, some, there's obviously some concern that there are some pathogens in there which can yeah. affect humans, Yeah. so the heat treated to kill those off. But in doing so, it kills off anything that's called beneficial mm. too. So the beneficial microbes that are in charge will help mineralize the back guano, so turn yeah. it into nutrients that are available to the plant, and basically unlock it, release its goodness to the plant uh, a lot quicker. Okay, so we might say, uh, people are coming for the back guano, we have a um, house and garden back mix. So yeah, but start we have these quickly. questions again, let's ask some customer questions. Yeah, but I use cocoa A and B. Yep. Oh, but I use <coughs> um, Plagron soil. Yeah. Yeah, we can still use it. Oh, but I grow in a tent. Can we still use it? Of course, yeah. So we can, can use this in every environment yeah, apart yeah. from hydroponics. You water. Can. can this be used in water cultivation systems? D D W C. Not in the system, okay. Okay. But it can be made into an extract which you can spray onto your plants. Oh, we haven't spoke about that, have we? Yeah. So there's another application. Oh, we even. How do how would we go about doing that? One to two teaspoons. Yeah. Into some tepid water, so not too hot, not too cold. Yeah. And then give it a good shake. Yeah. Leave it for five, ten minutes. Yeah. Give it another good shake. Leave another five, ten minutes, and then strain it. Sometimes you can just literally pour off the top because the insect grass falls to the bottom. Yeah. And then spray it onto your plants. Oh, okay. And you get some nutrients, but you'll get the stimulation effect on the plant. And um, will that have the same effect? Because I'm really interested in the fact that charge signals to the plant that's being riddled with beetles. So if we will that have the same effect? Foliar feed and the plant goes, oh dear. Indeed, yeah. That, awesome. That's the idea awesome. of the foliar application. Is the me and Thomas are looking at each other now because we each know what each other's thinking. Put yeah, the plants into alert mode. Yeah. We're very excited. There is actually some research to show that um, the chitin levels in insect grass, like charge, um, actually help endomycorrhiza form relationships with roots. Mm -hmm. So it's like match.com for bacteria? Yeah, if you use... Oh, match.com! <laughs> no, like that's that a good one. one. So if you use like a beneficial fungus like uh, endomycorrhiza, um, using charge can help further that establishment. And should we just touch again on what chitin is, Gareth? Yeah, chitin is what makes in insects exoskeletons tough. So it's like insects' bodies? Bones? Insect body armour? Yeah, I was thinking that. It's basically what yeah what makes up the their exo like our skin and cartilage and skeleton type but in the insect world yeah. Yeah. yeah in small scale for insects little insects I think the foods. closest thing you can compare it to in the human body is is keratin which is in our hair and fingernails yeah right I'm understanding a bit more now okay, mm, okay. interesting you see anything more yeah top dressing now. Some of our customers we did speak about it before, but okay, well, go on, carry on, Steve. Exactly. Come on, Sorry, I, was just, behind, get in. I was just busy saving customers. Come on, you know. oh, that old chestnut. Top, yeah. top dressing. Um, You've got to be wearing your dress. Yeah, yeah. that's standard when I'm putting up. Yeah. I know. I'm yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. on a weekend. I wear the MPK mankini. <laughs> oh, no, that's had some bad reviews. He has some pictures on Facebook of JP. So, so we've just got top dressing. seven stars yeah. to one star on our podcast now. Thanks for that, Thomas. Yeah, it's okay. Top dressing. How we do we go about it? So you'd top dress normally four to six weeks after you've mixed it into your media because about that point it starts to peter off in its release of MP and K, its nutrient release. So you top dress it literally by sprinkling it on the top of the growing media. Sometimes it's a good idea to just massage it in the top. Mm. Some people find it good to... Get so a massaging yeah, our plants little, now, I like this. Little root massage. A little, yeah. little bit of a poo massage there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Um, the application rate... If you're wanting to use it at a lighter rate, so say you've already got quite a heavy fertilised potting soil and you're worried that's going to release too much, you can use it at about 0.75 grams for every litre of potting soil. Okay. That equates to about a 20 mil scoop for a 10 litre pot. Yeah. And as high as um, 40 mil scoop for a 10 litre pot, or 1.5 grams per litre of, of mix. Interesting. So I hope nobody comes and sees me when I'm potting up because now I sing to me plants. I tickle me plants and now I'm going to be massaging me plants. In your top dress. In With top poo. Dress. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting thought, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else there for you, Fox? No, can you just let us know what you sing to your plants, please, sir? Stephen? Lullabies. Sweet, lullabies. sweet lullabies. They seem to love it. I don't need so any we... of these fancy CO2 products. Yeah, I, just, I, mean. I just sing to me plants. Right, well, I think that's it. Um, anything else you guys want to say? 
I think the only thing finally to say is to uh, get yourselves down to MPK Technology and get all charged up because it's chock a block full of goodness. Yeah. Chock a block. Chock a block. I just want to say thanks very much, guys, for coming down. Even though we did see you at the show, you've come all this way just to speak to the customers about your product charge. Thank you very much once again. Guys, thanks for having us. It's been yeah. great. And thanks for your support in stocking the product. I know there's a lot of products out there on the market. Yeah. So it's, uh, uh, but there's not a lot, a lot of products. And like please... Don't forget to uh, like us on Facebook and like us on Twitter. And it's EcoThrive at EcoThrive UK. Yeah. We're also on Instagram if you want yeah. to catch up. Oh, with. yeah, we love Instagram. Instagram's great, yeah. So EcoThrive on Instagram. And don't forget to like Team Hydro Limited on Facebook and at FoxJFox on Twitter. Happy days. You're on MPK Technology on Twitter, Instagram. You're obviously listening to the podcasts, Facebook, website. You know the sketch by now, listeners. So, uh, see you next week. See you next week. See you next week. At MPK Technology in Liverpool, we pride ourselves on providing you with the products you need at the right price. Once more, if the products you want aren't in stock, we'll order them in for you. And if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, we'll happily point you in the right direction. MPK Technology Liverpool, going out of our way to help you grow. Visit www.mpktechnology.co.uk. Life is good.